Damn it. Oh, that's what's wrong. I'm used to... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Because this is supposed to be, like, there. That's why it looks weird. Oh, I should have had the fucking lava lamp on all this time. What a dumb dummy. Alright, we're gonna work on this. Hi, Star! We got to hang out with Star today. Is this plugged in? Yeah. I thought so. Honk. Jabber! Honk. Thanks for the four months, Jabber. We're gonna have mac and cheese tonight, but not mac and cheese mac- or not mac and cheese ice cream. We're gonna have just mac and cheese. Damn, the lava lamp fits so cute. Hi, Ghostface! Hope you're having a good Sunday. I'm ready to be chaotic. <clears throat> Alright, uh, Skella's actually sitting here cleaning all of my paint tubes. Yeah, I accidentally scooted That's some, fine. but I will make it not happen again. I don't want to like No, it. it's fine. I need to put paint on my palette anyway. I was going to ask you for black. I don't know if you fixed. This, one of the black. blacks really needed to be fixed. And she's like twisting the tube so it's all like compressed and like... Uh, and I'm cleaning the like gobbed up paint out of the thread. Yeah, because this one was bad. I could barely close it because it was so messy and I was just going to live like that. The brown the... one too is just kind of like placed on. It wasn't yeah. screwed at all. I was just going to live... But I'm doing it with an X-Acto knife, so we might get some cool content of me cutting my finger off. No. No. Where'd you get an X-Acto knife from? Your little pen cup Fucking. I have a, I have a good radar for them. <laughs> my god. I bought Bug a new walking harness, and it's bright red, and he looks like a little tomato! We gotta get him a little, like, little leaf. Oh topper. Oh my god, yes. A little topper. It's kind of like this. Kind of like this. He needs, like, this. Like, a little leaf. Like, tomato? Is that an Animal Crossing character? Yes! Wait, no. Ketchup is the Animal Ketchup. Crossing Ketchup. Alright. You're like, yes, no. <laughs> Exacto knife is fine as long as rollerblades aren't involved. I like no, they're still not fine. They're way more tolerated, but I don't want to say they're fine. <laughs> On the way, when I got a real good peel, I like lifted it up and I could pull it off with my hand. Hmm. But I feel bad when I accidentally scoot some out. It's okay. I need stuff on my palette anyway, so. Do you need a mid the aluminum brown? Yeah. Well, I, I, that one I was able to suck back in, but if you actually need it. Yeah, you can put some on there. He looks so handsome in a little leaf hat. He'd be cute as a little, put a little ketchup bean. Careful on fingers. Hi, Kaylee. All right. Um, <laughs> I feel a little chaotic. Uh, I feel very chaotic. You feel very chaotic? I oh, need yeah. something. There was something I meant to do when I got up and I didn't do it. What was it? You wanted to get your laptop and you did that. I did that. I think I needed a pee. Hi. All right, I'm gonna go pee. You're on uh, Britney Spears duty. Oh, you, oh, sorry. Um, I will pee right back. Let Skella entertain you. Okay, guys. So in the fourth grade, me and my fourth grade friends choreographed a number to this, and we performed it in a talent show. That's my chaotic Skella history fact of the day. That's as far back as we're going in my in my weird history today. Did you say why? why? Oh, lies. No, we're gonna try to keep keep the trauma to a minimum today. I feel like last time I really just hijacked the whole stream with like. What'd you say? Yeah, I, I feel like telling stories about your past is just automatically trauma dumping when like, when life is just life in, life is just life in. You have my shirt? I got it at, um, DragCon from like a little guy that makes shirts. And I bought it because I thought that it was cute. 
And then yesterday we went to Lush and there was this really hot lesbian working there. And I was like, damn, I gotta like make sure she knows that I'm gay. So I like parted my hair where you can see my head tattoo. So I was like, then she'll know that I'm gay. And hopefully after I assured us that I'm gay and she still didn't ask for my number. So that's fine. But I thought the head tattoo was gonna do something for me. Uh, someone subscribe. Oh, thank you. Fedra subscribed with their Prime for Damn, Prime game. Thank you. Thank you. We're using your Prime sub on little old <gasps> me. What? Nothing. Wait, did you see the chaotic thing I or I tweeted last night? Is that okay? No comment. Thank you for the, um, thank you, thank you for the, the sub. <laughs> Is your friend going to be on? She was really pretty. Skella's here. Happy to see you streaming she more regularly good. again. Hope it's <laughs> making you happy, too. Thanks, Camel. Thanks for being here for seven months. There's a little bug flying around. I'm going to take your headphones back off me. I really gotta buy new pads for this shit. It's like falling apart. I've had these since I started streaming. Really? Yeah, the, I bought. I remember I bought me a pair and Ryan a pair for Black Friday, and they were like more than fifty dollars. So at the time, I was like, "This is so expensive." Like I really was like investing, and they're like really loose and. Dirty. You also always used to wear them over beanies. Yeah. I remember that was like your vibe for a while. But it does, like, squish my ears down if I have, like, a beanie on and then I have these on. But I've been using these headphones for as long as I've been streaming, and that's a long time. I've been around for a bit now. Love the makeup. Thank you. I smeared it on. <laughs> Sky Snoop. Boop. <laughs> the light eyebrows. Thank you, Lunar. Skella did them very chaotically, but now they're, like, bleached for good. So it's not even makeup. It's just... They just look like that. And I feel really stupid because we did we bleached them and they're kind of like dark right here because I got microblading done like five years ago. Four years ago. I was like, is this just you being super Italian and I can see your hairs through your skin? <laughs> but I got microblading done and completely fucking forgot. My eyebrows are naturally like black, so the microblading is like faded but it's still dark so that was silly you have not finished this one and i've started on this one they're the same color yeah i know band because it got hard to squeeze the tube so i just bought a new one <laughs> also I when you go to the arts one. i went to blick and it's kind of hard for me to not want to buy fancy art supplies so that's was fucking cool right i, I want to go there when i have more money I brought Skeller to Blick for the first time. I just bought a headset for PS5 for $30 on clearance to stream. Nice, Dragon. I have those exact same headphones. Aren't they great? They're great. You are my inspiration and continue to do art. Thank you so much. You're a wonderful person. Thank you for existing. Phaedra, thank you. Thanks for the subby. Thanks for being here. That's real emotional and nice. Thank you. <laughs> Slathered it on. Dude, I tried to do my own makeup for the first time a few weeks ago, and now I have a ton of respect for anyone able to do their own so well. It's definitely a lot of trial and error. I mean, I think that the key to doing makeup well is to not care, like, not follow the rules. Like, I literally just, like, tons of color, and then I try to do my eyeliner good, but when it comes to, like, the other colors, I just... You've gotten, like, pretty good at this eyeliner shape. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. I also, I don't know if you noticed, we were talking to Star, and no one was paying attention to me or supervising me, and I shaved my eyebrows more, and now one's a little tiny and one goes deep. I didn't notice. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. I was... You're like, I was unsupervised. Like, damn! I was just trying to... Because remember yesterday, I was like, I need to shave them more. Mm -hmm. But today, I tried to do it, and I was sitting at your kitchen table, and I just... You were at the table? 
Yeah. I was sitting right next to you. What do you look for in a partner? A good cowboy hat. They need to be a... <laughs> so when I say howdy partner, they can... They can... Yeehaw, m'lady me. Fan from Brazil. That's cool. I'd go to Brazil. I've never been anywhere. I wore makeup once in eighth grade when all the boys had to be the cheerleaders for a pep rally and I was the one who got thrown into the air. Did you really? I used to be an... I used to be the one that had to get thrown. But it wasn't like an official like cheerleading team like high school. It was like... I was like 10. And I was just the smallest on the squad. So I was the one who got like thrown not because I was good but because I was the smallest. <laughs> that shit was terrifying. Skella don't do anything without permission. Yeah, ask me. <laughs> Eternal Skella can't be. <laughs> <laughs> Keep her supervised. She, I can't believe she was like, I was unsupervised, so I did this thing right next to you. Like, how oblivious am I? I don't know, because I was like, usually I use the back, where it has like the one little mm -hmm. razor, and I just like touch it up. But I like flipped it over. I was using the full four blades, and I was just like... <laughs> And then I was like, oh, that doesn't match. And then I tried to do the other one, and it got real little. And then I was like, well, I don't want to do the other one real little, so now I have one real little. You can't tell because I put makeup over them. I shave off the ends of my eyebrows you... so that instead of them going down and getting in the way of where I do my drag queen makeup, I do them to go up. I think the thing that happened was that I was talking about trauma. And I was just like... And you were, you were doing that. Yeah... Whatever. Shout out to not dying. I, uh... I feel like the gap in my tooth feels real prominent today. Because of the lipstick. Mm. I don't know, sir. Look, look in the, look in the thing. Oh, maybe. It feels prominent, like, with my tongue. Ugh, uh, gap in my teeth now. I think you're really pretty, but from how it is, it can't work out. Would you ever want to be friend? You mean like our friendship can't work out? Is it because you don't have a cool cowboy hat? I mean, that's kind of my deal breaker. What if it's like a like a cool like Shrek hat? Cool what? Shrek hat like there's Shrek like, like alternative hats. That's not like a cowboy hat, but like they I mean really I have like bring a different hat to the table. You're like I got my own Shrek hat. Yeah, I have a Shrek hat. I'm not impressed. We're not listening to the song. Sorry. I need to go pee, and when I do that, I need to put a bra on because I'm actually terrified of getting the van. Um, can you give me white? Yeah, I did the white. <laughs> Damn, Skull's out here doing the Lord's work. I ain't never done this shit in my life. Really? You think I give a shit? It's so satisfying. I'm glad you're having fun, because this is something I would never do, but it's greatly appreciated. She's cleaning all my tubes up. <laughs> really getting in them tubes. Twist them up, mommy. <laughs> Hi, Lauren! Uh, no. Well, I mean, Skelly could paint. She's not painting right now, though. Skelly could paint. Skelly could paint. Skelly she really paint wanted to. All one color. If I was like, paint this thing, you would you would do a good job. Paint that thing? <laughs> no, not this. Just like something in general. A bison? A bison? Look at Bubba Goss! Bubba Goss, Bubba Goss. I keep saying that like, Bubba Sparks, Bubba Sparks. Hey! 36 years already. One more than halfway to 40, you. Thanks for the 36 merch, Trap. How you doing? How you doing? We're working on this bison. I don't really know what's happening with him. I... What? Kill it! What do you mean you can't? You gotta get... You can't, you can't let the mosquito live. You have to kill it. Did you get it? Skella. 
You can't let the mosquito live. It's going to eat me alive. It's like he's full of chitin, which is the crunchy stuff. I hate the way wet paint feels on my fingers, so anytime I get a tube dirty, I have to clean it. I admire the dedication, because I hate it as well, but I don't clean it. I'm like, well, that's just how it is. Right? He has to die. Ah, ah, Did you get it? I threw something at it so that I didn't have to feel it, and it splattered. Like, pfft, like there is legs everywhere. What the fuck did you throw? I threw the tissue box. I have never seen this <laughs> bug take up so much space. I'm gonna take a picture of it. I don't understand how you just managed that. So you threw the tissue box at it. Yeah. But where did you throw it? What wall? That's under your snow feed. How did you get? Why is that mosquito so big? He wasn't even that big. He's big now because he's exploded. I'm a and you're leaving it on the wall? Yes! <laughs> I have to go clean you this. You told me to kill it. I did Yeah, in my you. head, you grab a tissue and you just but like... then you have to feel it squish. It's a mosquito. It's so tiny. That is as far as I went to protect you. I am not a hunter. I love you. I just killed for you. <laughs> I murdered for you and you're mad. That I didn't clean up. <laughs> I had to, um, I had to put a bra on. So that, oh, they wouldn't even come out. I don't know. I was afraid my titties were going to come out. Um, no, I just didn't want to, like, so bugs, bugs are made of chitin. Like, that's the material that, like, bugs are made of. And, like, I was always grossed out by bugs crunching. Um... But At what velocity did you throw this tissue box? Hard. Why? Because I just don't understand how he was so splattered. Like, what the <laughs> fuck was that velocity? I, like, like walked that's... out of the room and then threw the tissue box back into the room. It was behind the door. How did you do that? <laughs> I really didn't want to I'm so see impressed. Anything. You impress me. Thank you. That was a lot. That I'm was a so, lot of I'm buggage. So sorry. You're fine. I love just... bugs crunching bad, bugs exploding good. <laughs> okay, but like all I heard was the box hitting the wall. I didn't have to hear the crunch of the bug. <laughs> the crunch of the bug is like the worst part. I don't I don't kill things. Like I She's vegan. I'm vegan. <laughs> I guess vegan. not anymore. You're a murderer? Because I'm a murderer. You think your avocados didn't kill as many mosquitoes as that? I don't know. I know that there are correlations between certain crops and bugs, but I don't know if mosquitoes and avocados... You don't, you don't think other... Okay, maybe not mosquitoes, but, like, you don't think bugs be dying? No, like, bugs die, and then, like, the, like, way that they harvest crops, a lot of rodents die. Also, a lot of vegans eat agave as a honey replacement, and agave is, like... The habitat for a lot of animals that can't live in other environments so you're just like straight up like taking their houses and being like at least i'm not eating honey so like i mean there are issues go go coming through with the mate struck that was literally the bug was the mate struck <laughs> if you could go on a perfect date what would it be why are you asking me so much so many romantic questions you trying to you trying to fund a date i want to know why they think that you guys can't be together they said it would never work am i not good enough <laughs> maybe it's because you admitted to owning a shrek hat i do own a shrek hat and either they're like she owns a Shrek hat and I hate that. Or they're more likely like, she owns a Shrek hat. I can never live up to that.
Garfield Amusement Park is the only answer. I am genuinely sad that I will never be able to ride that ride. Where is it? It was like somewhere in PA. There was like this Garfield ride. And it doesn't exist anymore? It doesn't exist as of like the past couple years, but it existed for a long time and it was like kind of run down and like, it was made with like fluorescent, like, like uh, black light type activated paint and all the black light paint kind of like started going away so like the ride like looked really janky because a lot of the stuff wasn't like painted properly anymore mm. and like it was not a good ride they say and because when the ride ended it like the rights got sold so they had to like destroy everything from it they it we watched the whole documentary on stream one night a perfect date is when you go meet the person and then you pass out and wake up in chair in chains in the middle of the woods and you say, awesome, bro. You can't joke about that shit. I'm way too... That doesn't sound like a date as much as it sounds like a... This one pooted out the side. It's does cracked. That, does that happen a lot? No. But it might be able to be taped. Okay. Where do I find tape? What's the date that they say in that movie? The perfect date is April 23rd because it's not too hot and not too cold. Yeah, that's what the movie you is. wear a light enough jacket. Well, is I mean, that? There's a light jacket. I don't know what the actual date is, though, that oh, she I says. Don't know, but is I that Miss Congeniality? Yeah, Miss Congeniality, which is. You've never expressed wanting that on VHS, but it is one of the VHSs I always look for. Wait, it pooted out the side of the tape, too! Uh oh. You gonna paint your leaf yellow or something? I'll I'll try. What series is that? Probably the big one. Where does it say? I think that you said yellow was one of the expensive ones. Series three. Hopefully it doesn't like dry the whole thing because there's a cracky. I've been to the Crayola factory. I don't know if I was telling Skella or Matt about that, but that place is cool. You can make your You're own- You're telling me about it. You can make your own crayons. April 25th. I said April 23rd. I was close. I was close. Twerk! Hi, Twerk! What's good? Yeah, I always look for Miss Congeniality on VHS because I think it was actually like a good movie. My mom liked it. My mom watched all the Sandra Bullock movies when I was a kid. I think that that's one of the movies where I probably wouldn't buy because I think my mom owns it. Yeah. I'd be fighting for my life out here. Just existing. It's nice to see you. I think last time I saw it, Rana made me watch it. And she used to just make me watch movies. I don't really know what I'm painting and I don't really like the way it looks. But I'm just kind of in the mindset of like... I gotta do a lot of layers, so this isn't, like, the final, like, way it's gonna look. So I'm trying to just, like, be like, fuck it, bitch, just put the time in. Why is there, like, is respect a, like, finite resource? Do you want someone to respect your work or your looks? <laughs> Por que no les dos? Like... <laughs> Listen, I'm not gonna respect everything. You gotta pick. Damn. I mean, it do be unfair that, like, you're hot and skilled. Both of you are stupid, pretty, and skilled. I agree, Trap. I agree. Boop. Thanks. 
It took a while for her to accept that comment. It's just hard to be friends with this and then, like, have anyone call me an artist. Like, she always be like, you be making art. And I'm like, I make sharp puzzles. Um, what do you think I'm doing? Making art. I'm fucking piecing together some art puzzle p with paint. Like, why is that any different? You know it is. It's not. I'm saving no hotness. I'm stealing it all. It's not hard to be friends with you. What? No, it's just like, it's not hard to be friends with her because she's skilled. I don't have any, like, um, like, I don't feel like she doesn't deserve her skills or, t I just, I just, like, sometimes people will be like, oh, you guys are artists. And I'm like, she is. I'm out here fighting her. Hi, Rev! Life comes down to choices. You can't have them all. Well, fuck that shit. I'm, I'm, I'm getting what I want, and that's all. What a weird... What a weird concept. You really... Like, especially the word respect. Like, the question could have been, like, do you want to be known for your looks or for your art? No, like, respect do, do you want me to respect your art? Or do you want me to respect your body? You can only have one. If you want me to like your art, I will not respect you. It's like crossword. Also, I need to say that Skelly, your glass is so dope. Not an artist, my ass. I agree. I miss making it. I haven't been home in a long time. So I haven't. Um, I, like, made a little piece for, like, a, a friend whose dad died. I, like, made her, like, a little, I don't know. I don't know if you call it, like, a memorial piece. It was an ice cream. But I never even, like, posted about it or anything. And I haven't made anything else in a really long time. We're gonna be back. You're gonna make some art. I think when we go back, we're just gonna like be cosplaying. I mean, that's a different type of art that we'd be doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm probably not gonna like paint, so. Why not? Because we're gonna be doing that then. Oh, uh, yeah. We should move. Um... I don't know. I kind of want to get like a. like a weird. like rolly cart kind of situation. Uh, for my computer so that I can have a stream set up in the kitchen and then like roll it into the other room if I need to. Like I was thinking about that when I wasn't sleeping last night. Was that offensive? I just feel like if you give someone an out, they will always take it. An out on what? I'm so confused. Um, are those new contacts or is it just the red eye makeup making your eyes look different? I don't have eyebrows, so that might be, I'm wearing the contacts like I always wear. Um, but Skella bleached my eyebrows for me, so I don't really have eyebrows anymore. Bye, Jabber. We will miss you. I will. Chromium oxide green. Good one. I didn't call anybody, but I did message the bully. And then I felt like things were kind of getting horny, so I ghosted. <laughs> they were messaging, though. 
She was like, I wasn't a bully. I'm just a teddy bear. The bully so the lover stroke. Those are one of my favorites. I can't imagine why. <laughs> you love your bullies. Is it really that common? Um, like the enemies to lovers? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Especially because I read a lot of, like, young adult gay fiction. So, like, a lot of it is, like, somebody's mean to, like, the poor gay kid. And then you find out it's, like, because they're closeted and they're insecure about someone who's open and really, like, they have feelings for them. So they have to be mean so they don't have to deal with them. So basically the bully situation. Mm -hmm. Got it. The she theme. Now I remember the photoshops of you without eyebrows. Yeah, but now it's not even shopped. It's real. <laughs> it's fucking real. It's gay. I know. I think it's a kids show, right? Layla watches it. Yeah. Uh, I don't. I watch. I don't watch a ton of cartoons. Yeah, but I do read a lot of books. I be reading. Did you watch Twilight? Look at us. Look at her. I'm wearing my new moon shirt. If you guys follow me on Instagram, I posted a, a Twilight meme today. I didn't get it, but I did laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really supposed to make sense. <laughs> I'm pulling the Lady Gaga where, like, any chance she can say she's Italian, she takes it. Like, that's just me at this point. Like, I'm just really... You're in your cherry cherry boom boom phase? Yeah. It's AA. Is New Moon your favorite in the series? It is. It is. Because I am a Jacob lover not when i was a kid i definitely was a like an edward i was like team edward i used to have a team edward shirt back in the day but now i'm like damn she should have just been with jake i have this is my three. favorite because i'm team they all just fuck together and i feel like eclipse got the closest They were horny in that time. She was all asleep and they were like giving each other the eyes. Hi, Mom. Mom. The Hot Topic showed us that I run with vampires. You can't run with vampires too fast. I had the te the Hot Topic shirt that was, like, Team Edward with, like, the swirlies around it that was, like, white and, like, light blue. They had, a com like, a Jacob one that kind of, like, was the opposite, where it was, like, red. I have, like, one photo with it, but... The spies one is really cute. This one? Yeah. I love his nose. I'm trying to make them like, like I'm not making them like look real and it's bothering my brain. Yeah, your possum looks real, 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 real. Yeah, I went off the, like, f the reference photo heavily for that one. But this one, the sketch was just like off my head. So mm -hmm. I don't, my brain's like confused on which one I'm listening to. If I have the opposite of, like, uh, like, I know what mosquito bites itch, because when they bite you, they, like, have this, like, chemical in their, like, saliva that makes you not put too much blood out so that it doesn't, like, drown them. 
vampires probably have the opposite, where it just, like, thins your blood and makes it all squish out at once. Where'd that go? <laughs> the way you looked up. I heard it. I heard it, too. This one's, like, real dry in the cap. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I need to be just working with a bigger brush. Are you still using the fan brush? I did um fan art for the interview with a vampire. Or with the vampire. It's okay. I don't want to get paint on it. Kay. It can it can exist in there. It's on my art Instagram if you like. It's the last art Instagram post I made. Really dry. I mean, it might have something to do with it being like such a fluorescent color. The light fastness is probably really low on that one. Is that how fast it dries? That's how, f like, the fading in the sun, I think. I could be wrong. What aren't you sure about with the bison? By the way, can we name this one Bernie? I don't know if it's a boy. Um, I don't know because I like, I use reference photos pretty heavily. So the fact that it's not like exactly like the reference photo and the eyes are kind of round. So it looks kind of cartoony. So I just like, don't really know if I'm like wanting it to be like realis realistic like realism or if I want it to be more stylized and I like doing more stylized pieces but it's very out of my comfort zone and like I did like a wooden piece last year that was like an animal but it was like hyper realistic so I just I just don't I'm not fully 100% committed to the stylized version because I also just like don't know if I like it yeah the blue one was um John Wick for Jay So, I don't know. I was trying not to do, like, light, but I feel like I need to, like, pull some lights out and then I'll probably go back and, like, darken them. I don't know. I'm just trying to add a lot of texture so that it looks fuzzy. But it's a lot of, like, tufts of hair that's not necessarily, like, all going in the same direction, which, like, is really intimidating. Yeah, they be bluefin. I love them. I should have Mega Gregory. You big boy. What do you have paint on right now? Mm. Mm. So wild that there were two. Wait, you mean giant ones? Yeah, like when we went, there was one, and then when I went back to get him, there was two. And I knew he was gonna be loved, so then I had to look at them and be like, which one of you? Balance of real and cartoon-like. Thanks, Lauren. I'm trying my best. I'm trying to find that balance. I don't wanna like roast this homie but like i don't think that the art has anything to do with that desire i think that wasn't really on the table to begin with <laughs> <laughs> you're saying what i consider but like what am i even considering i want your resume you said, would you rather be respected for your looks or your art? But, like, I don't even know which one you be thinking. That's a little sus because you asked that question. Which one lines up with you? I don't know. Do I need to know? Probably not. Also, I don't think I would consider dating somebody that only has a finite amount of respect <laughs> to give. 
I would like you to respect me and my work. No, I mean, I get it. I'm a woman. You can't give me too much respect. <laughs> Wouldn't even know what to do with all of that. You know what happens when women feel like they're, you know, equals. <laughs> Things get a little out of hand. They get too demanding, you know. The slippery slope. Can't let the women know that they're capable. Yeah. It's asking for way too much, Lauren. You're lucky they're going to respect anything. Got to appreciate the privilege of the bare minimum. My stats are kind of good. You call them stats. You call them stats, my guy. Are you a COD player? <laughs> yeah, what's your KD? <laughs> I feel like your KD for, like, dating would be, like, the amount of times you've come versus the amount of times you've made someone else come. Oh. That ratio is so screwed. <laughs> All right, give me your resume. I'm honest, though. I'd love for people to send me their genuine resumes and just roast people. I was thinking more of like the thorough Des video of the resume he was giving people. Yeah. Well, make sure you come first. The, uh, what was it? Uh, I had little to no experience with thick bitches, but I amended that. Now I have minimal experience. <laughs> I like how when she read it, that dude, like, jumped right in. He's like, you wrote it down so she can say it. Like, he didn't even, like, get upset. And he's just like, you tricked her into that. I assume we're talking actual resume. I think mine's pretty solid. Bunch of shit jobs, but presently a pretty good one. <laughs> I'm here to fuck shit up. I don't know, I feel like that could be, yeah, real resume. I could still roast you. People always ask me to like, you know, rate their body parts. So I started charging people to rate them as if I was a sommelier. And I think people weren't expecting me to actually do it because I literally was like, this is, <laughs> Like, where I think it would come from and what, like, the, like, aftertaste would be and what, like, the, the scent notes would be. And it was, like, really rated that shit like a wine. And I don't drink wine. <laughs> it's funnier when you know she's straight edge. I don't think I've ever, maybe I've tasted, like, box wine. First time I ever had wine was with Sinatra. That doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> and we got so, so fucking shit faced. Why am I listening to? Um, I I have drank alcohol as like a like a teenager. 
but not since then. And I have never smoked weed. You're saying I'm Skellas? You didn't even make fun of me. Because you just gave me... Oh, is that your height and weight? That's your resume? 6'4", 268 pounds, age 39. That's what I'm supposed to... None of that is... What am, like that, what am I supposed to go off with that? It should be hairline status. Yeah. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> Um, 401k status. I need your hairline. I need your yearly income. I need your cum KD. I need, uh, your, like, level of intimidation when it comes to vibrators. Those are the things I need. How, level how of, it, like, how intimidating you can be to, like, you're, like, fighting yeah. a vibrator, like, you're, like, rumbling yeah. <laughs> like you intimidate the vibrator is what you're saying no how intimidated <laughs> you are behind the vibrator uh how many photos of you there are holding a fish like in existence uh i need to know how many kids you have hi redhead and your level of involvement you guys must think the the vibrator competes Okay, I that no fish. That's all. Oh, fuck, I'm so sorry. You're fine. That's all I need to know. That that statement right there is everything I need to know. You have failed. Anytime. I will get a fight with a vibrator. Anytime. A fish fight with a vibrator. <laughs> that's not what you said, but that's what I read it as. Anytime somebody is like, a vibrator's got nothing on me. Nothing else that can come out of your mouth has any significance to me. You have no grasp on reality. You have no, like, actual ability to, like, judge yourself objectively. Like, you gotta know your place. You can see the vibrator as your friend and work together, but, like, my vibrator plugs into the wall. Like, you and your, like... No stamina you know, training can are, compare. <laughs> like, you're gonna do that. Like, you gotta just, like, know. That girl scared the life out of that Hitachi. <laughs> Dragon said, I have no experience, so I'm just going to jam to music and type emotes. <laughs> it's not like you're looking down. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I made a TikTok. Um, they took it down. I don't know why. I was just, like, singing into my vibrator, like, a microphone, and I was singing, uh, Samia, someone tell the boys they're not important anymore. Um, and like men were like so defensive like they're like i could do better than that vibrator and it's like you gotta know that you can't that's okay no one see that's the thing is like, that like yeah, no, no one one's expects expecting you to, you to and you go at that, that trajectory as your friend and work together or like not like no one else has to be involved you know what a Hitachi feels like on your wiener? I don't know because I don't have a wiener, but I've watched a Hitachi on a wiener. And that looked like everyone was having a pretty good time. <laughs> Including me, because I didn't have to touch the wiener. <laughs> There's a lot of levels, a lot of layers. It's not fair. Hi, whores. You, like, there's still a use for you. You're you're gifted in other ways. You just gotta know where you stand. Like, my Hitachi's not gonna, like, 
smack me and say degrading things to me. You cut yourself? No. Oh. No, I just couldn't get this like chunk off. Is it a bad thing if she has a toy? Is that what you're saying? Right. No, I don't know. I had some guy like comment on my TikTok and he was like, every girl I've been with has thrown away all of their sex toys after I had sex with them. And I'm like, you are either completely making this up or you're you are abusive. in a state of delusion where you are being lied to because these women are afraid to hurt your fucking ego or yeah you're like insecure and abusive to the point that like these women just give up do you think buffalo was working for the cia all along buffalo bill we talking like Silence of the Lambs? I don't fuck with buffalo. I fuck with bison. Yeah, we have a skeleton. It's like better. when people have like a little cam for their pet, <laughs> but the pet is me. <laughs> That's rude as hell. trouble. Oh. <laughs> I don't like the container for the Holbin. Holbin. I thought the, I went the part of the logo was I thought I was gonna say Chelbin. Thanks, Joe. The hair dryer, she looks really good. Mm. I think I gotta make it, like, larger. Like the little puffy tufts? Yeah, like the groupings of them to be like bigger gatherings. It has, Mincha. I've had a, a couple OG type people come in tonight. It's nice to see you. Yo. Who are you making someone do what? What? I'm walking bug right now and still talking about men being emasculated by sex is probably the most threatening conversation I could blast from my phone to scare <laughs> away men. Hell yeah. I'm just a little pet. Jenkins Green. I didn't realize that I make her wear a bra. She out there too much. There is two streamers. It us. This just hurt my feelings, sorry. Okay, so what would be the less strong word for that? Expect. 
I would expect her to wear a bra. Like, you're really that insecure? Wait, who's wearing a bra? I don't know. I think he's just talking about any potential partner. I would hope he's not talking about us specifically. There is no force of nature that's going to get me to consistently wear a bra. Like, what would get me to date you? <laughs> the opposite of what is happening right now. <laughs> <laughs> Like, here's my resume. Uh, I'm intimidated by vibrators. Um, I expect women to wear a bra so that their titties aren't just out there, which already, like, we're opposite off the of list. me. <laughs> we're off the list because our titties are just out there, out there. And the I'm bug not poop? Wearing a bra. I used to always wear a bra. I used to wear two bras because I was so, like, I didn't like the way that it felt because I had, like, big, heavy titties. Um, but I got a breast lift, and now they, like, stay better, and I have not worn a bra since. I mean, I'm wearing one right now because I was afraid of my shirt coming up. But that's it. Hi, dra is that dragon? Hi, dragon. This chat is scary now. You said that like the chat hasn't always been like this. I've always been like this. What? Chat intimidate me when I got here. I apologize. so regular in your stream mm -hmm. i mean they were here the other night but mm -hmm. If you went out looking like that, I would fight you. I think I mean like they would fight other people, but still, not my problem. <laughs> also looking you like can't, that. you can't date bad bitches if you ain't ready to handle what happens when you date bad bitches. That's the thing. Like there's motherfuckers who be out here dating bad bitches and then be shocked that they're dating a bad bitch. Like, you can't, you can't not know what that entails. That's just, like, there, there's a lot. And, then, and like, that's not for everyone. And that's okay. You don't gotta, you don't gotta be about that bad bitch life. But, like, you gotta at least acknowledge that you ain't bad bitch material. Like, that's just what, like, you gotta, you gotta have a secure ego. You can't, you can't be... You can't be insecure. I gotta be secure, you know? Dated past tense a nice lady. You got a ways to go then. My suggestion, therapy. <laughs> Work usually... on yourself. You gotta be fucking secure. You can't. You can't be fucking 
be dating a bad bitch, be insecure, and then make that the bad bitch's problem. That is not her problem. She already had to go through a lot of fucking shit to be a bad bitch. There's... The world is not out here trying to make bitches bad. They're trying to make them not bad so they can control them. And bad bitches are fighting a lot. So they can't be fighting their battle and your own. Like, that that's just not the agenda. That's not the move. That's not cute. That is not their job. But, like, it's okay. It's okay if you can't handle a bad bitch. It's a lot. It's a lot. But there are just too many motherfuckers that think they can and that's where it goes wrong. Like, you can't... You gotta know your lane. You gotta know where you stand. You gotta comfortably be there. Mm -hmm. That's just how it be. It takes a lot of confidence to date... Or, it takes a lot of confidence to be a bad bitch. So, you can't... And you gotta fight for that confidence. You can't be draining a bad bitch life force, you know? You just can't. can't. You're putting this world to kick its ass, not for the world to kick yours. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like the world wants to kick mine, and I'll just be fighting that. I've lost that fight a lot. Can't wait for the anime. I'm insecure, but I met a bad bitch and she changed my life. But, like, that's the thing. Why it gotta be the bit bad bitch's job to change your life? Change your life on your own. Damn, bitch, I'm tired of being people's lessons. <laughs> I'm drained. I don't got time to be fucking teaching motherfuckers. I'm not a teacher. Why am I schooling all these fucking bitches I gotta teach motherfuckers how to be how to be a man get the fuck out of here just like the men that want to date hoes you can't you to stop hoeing you can't date a hoe and then be shocked that she's a hoe that's the reason why you liked her because she was a hoe can't be dating bad bitches and be shocked that they're bad bitches that is just the lesson of the day y'all If you can't handle a bad bitch, let her go. Let her let her go. And you can't date a bitch who's like hustling and not like be hustling. She's gonna leave your ass in the dust. In my opinion. I think that we've all heard this story, friend. The stream is truly boosting my confidence in dating a bad bitch. I hope I hope you're not kidding. I hope you mean that. It's just one of those things, like there, you know how many I how Okay, raise your hand if you've seen a bad bitch start dating a man who can't handle a bad bitch and you saw that bitch change. That's sad. Sad. 